Caro can defense, advance, but Vinic Carl's defense, 4.dxc5 and c6. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. e5 closes the center and controls the important d6 and f6 squares. c5 moves the same pawn twice in the first three moves, but it takes more space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. dx c5 captures the c5 pawn and allows the queen to attack the d5 pawn. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn and controls the d4 square. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is the last book move. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to pin a knight to the king. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. A knight might be impaled by this on the monarch. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This misses a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable knight. It is an inaccuracy. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. The pawn is now suitably protected. That's good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This is an equal trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That was a free pawn. It is excellent. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. 
This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. This overlooks an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable rook. It is an inaccuracy. This disregards a superior method of strengthening a weak pawn's defense. It is incorrect. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This prevents a queen on the other side from checking. It's compelled. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. This moves the queen to safety. It is excellent. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. That's good. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. That's good. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the queen to safety. It is excellent. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. The pawn is now adequately defended. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 